Hi guys, and welcome back to HodgePodge Hobbies. It's been a while, so let's catch up. First of all, I just want to say thank you for my last video. 7.5 thousand views, that's crazy on only my second video. So thank you for all those who watched. What have I been busy with a lot? Mostly Middle Earth. The strategy battle game that is, um, it's great, you should play it. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of it on this channel. Before we get into the actual build, these are houses from Conquest of Saxonia, my Kickstarter by a guy named Jacob Lucas, who runs the channel Conquest Creations. It's not sponsored. These are just great prints and I really enjoyed and this whole Kickstarter, so you should go check it out. First off, these were just a joy to print. I did notice that uh, I have a small gap on the bottom of my prints, but that could just be my user issue. I don't like layer lines, and I've been trying to find out a solution for how to deal with that. You'll notice that I'm using polycrylic here. It didn't really do anything, so you can just skip this step. I thought it would get rid of the layer lines, but it didn't. Next, you're going to want to grab a couple different spray cans, a beige, a gray, and then another kind of beige. I base coated everything in gray, and then I did the walls and the roof in that darker beige. Next, I grabbed my suede craft paint and just kind of filled in the roof and the walls. Doing just a quick and dirty dry brush. In this paint scheme, dry brushing and washes are your friends. So make good use of them. Right here, I'm just using a brown wash kind of over my base. I was very generous with this. And then you can soak up the excess. I like starting my uh, stones with a nice earthy color. That's why you get the brown and then followed by a nice black wash to get again more of that rocky kind of stony appearance and just adding splotches of more browns to get more of the organic and earthy kind of dirt within there. Naturally in places that it might build up or occur. And then for the thatch, I really struggled with it, but I went with this contrast paint, the yand and yellow. I still wasn't super happy with it. It was too yellow in my opinion. So I wanted to kind of grunge it up. This I'm just using straight Liquitex ink. Didn't really dilute it any because I really wanted to give it a little bit more darker. And I was becoming a little bit more happy with my thatch. Now with this paint job, what I did was I undercoated it dark, kind of did a all over the heavy dry brush followed by some more tinting with contrast paint, as you can see here with the walls to keep some of the natural shadows in place, but then it just being accentuated by the contrast paint again. And I was really quite happy with how this wood turned out. The windows, I did a nice silver uh, just to make it stand out. Could have done anything with it, but I liked the style of maybe they had silver bars or meshing of some type. I darkened up the floor a little bit just to give it more of a darker appearance. But once you put the walls, onto the base. It really just brings the piece out. You kind of see where the dirt has accumulated and it just looks really nice. In this build, I found myself using a lot of inks just as they were, maybe diluting them a little bit, but I just wanted to tint things quite heavily. And I really liked how the inks were able to do some good blanket coverage while still being a little bit translucent. Now I know what you're thinking, yellow scary, but it's okay. We're going to add these three colors together and we're going to dry brush our now much better and more appropriate batch and bring a little bit more yellow back in, but it'll be okay because we're going to do a second dry brush with a little bit more white. And again, this dry brush is going to go all over the building this time to just tie everything together. My local hobby shop got in some Pro Curel paint. Jeez. 
Pro Acryl paints. Um, excited to try them out. So I kind of did the detailing around the doors and the windows in a green and then a brown. And just trying to bring some more color schemes into these buildings where you can just to differentiate them a bit. Let me know what you think. I'm not entirely sold, but I think they turned out nice. Well, after I finished up that little bit of detailing, these, not Rohan houses, but Saxon houses, are done. These are free to print up. Go check out Conquest Creations. You'll probably find a link somewhere. I'll post them down below. I thank you guys all so much for sticking around after the long four months of not really posting any content. Really appreciate to still see couple hundred subscribers it's very encouraging and i thank you guys so much if you want to see more of videos like this from us uh the subscribe button does really well to help both you and us out thank you guys for watching this video till next time i mean you're watching hodgepodge hobbies don't give out your last name we're gonna get killed